I mean, thinking back of the timeline, I think we had heard about the virus in January and February. It was still unclear what it meant, how serious it was. Um, I remember being in schools. We were doing professional development with teachers that had nothing to do with online learning. And they were talking about this thing that was happening. You know, should we stock up on toilet paper? Is this going to be real? And the way it was situated at first is that we would be online for like two weeks. And so we were kind of getting ready for that. I don't think anybody really thought from the beginning that we would be online for the rest of uh, the school year. In March of 2020 is when the state of Minnesota shut K-12 schools down. What that looked like was sheer panic. And it looked like, like all day, all night working into the weekends and all hands on deck. Uh, I received notification that the governor was going to announce the next day that schools were going to be closed. So with the indication that the governor was going to make that announcement, I reached out to what I call my collaborative learning team. That's about 75 people throughout the district. And what that really means is it's every decision maker in the district. And so I reached out to them, uh, asked them to meet at 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Uh, we worked for 16 hours that day. I worked that throughout the night to make sure that I had lots of good food and drink for everyone at the district office. We spread out. Everyone had comfortable clothes. And when I had made the announcement that we needed to meet, I said, get comfortable and be ready for a long day. And my team jumped right in. I couldn't be more proud of their work. And so our teams uh, dug right in. They did an amazing job and we were able to communicate uh, that evening to families uh, what was going to be happening in our district and our, our parents and our families did a great job in working with, with us on that. One of the things that, that I, I get really excited to talk about is like really how when everybody's all interested and invested in like kind of learning this one thing towards a common goal of the shift to online, um, it's amazing like how fast that happened. It's something like that that would have taken us probably in a regular year, like a three year rollout to, to do a pilot program. Um, to find some other teachers who were interested uh, to, you know, kind of talk a group of people into or see if there was interest in um, doing something like, you know, like Google Classroom across the middle school. Um, that would be a three-year rollout if we were to do something like that in a regular year versus like a two-week, the state is shut down for two weeks and by next Tuesday we would like everybody's, you know, here, here's what we did agreed on as a building uh, to have in our courses online. Um, if, if you need help, here's where to get it. The shift that happened though, that eight workday window, it was insane. So if you, anytime you move a class online, that takes several months. So if you think about that scale, one class, and then you think about the scale, what our state did when it shifted K-12, all distance, emergency crisis teaching, that shift was, um, <laughs> almost impossible. So I find it really magical what happened um, in the moment of crisis, what K-12 uh, districts and schools did.